Alright, so, I just wanted to do this because, um, I think people, okay, not really people, but my ex needs to know what's going on in my life and why I've been, like, super moody and crazy, and I think that other people need to know because they're important to me, and, um, I told people that I would do this and I haven't done it yet, so I'm doing it now, and... I need to get things off my chest, too. Um, I guess we'll just start by saying that my life has been super crazy right now. And I haven't had time to do anything. Like, I have to get a job, so it really kind of sucks. But it'll pay for my car, and I'm super excited about that. Um, second, like, my friends have been horrible, horrible, horrible people. Like, I don't know how else to say this, but my friends have been stupid hoes. Like, the song by Nicki Minaj, I hate Nicki Minaj, by the way, so much. Like, I would strangle her if I could, but the song Nicki Minaj, or the song by Nicki Minaj, Stupid Ho, that's like my friend's anthem right now, and I sing it every time I see this stupid bitch. And then, um, I don't know. I try to talk to my best friend, but, like, since he got out of the, his relationship with his ex, Kenzie, um, not me, a different Kenzie, but he, um, he abandoned me while he was in a relationship with her, and he told me he never would do that, and he did, and it really sucks, so I don't talk to him anymore. Um, and then, I want to say that, uh, I'm still in love with my ex. I still love Matt a lot. And I don't tell him. <laughs> so I guess I want him to know that. And I wish I would tell him more. And <laughs> God, okay. I don't think he understands that why I was angry with him and why I was hurt by what he did to me and I don't don't know if he understands that what he did was not okay and I don't think he understands why I'm like so bitchy at him and like why I want him to stop smoking or whatever because I tell him things like that all the time and I don't mean to be like bitchy and not accept him for who he is because I do, I do accept him, I just don't think that it's okay for him to be doing that, because I want him to be healthy, and I want to be with him all the time, and, like, if, if something ever happened to him, and it was because of him, like, drinking or smoking or something, I would feel awful, because... Um, I have power to like help him stop, I guess, and makes me angry, kind of. But um, <laughs> sometimes I wish he would just let go and let me go because I'm terrible for him. But whatever. I do love him, and I'm not gonna like stop loving him just because I have to. But. I should let him go. And I don't, uh, I don't trust him anymore, but I really, really want to be back together with him. And I don't think he trusts me either, because for a while there, like, for like a month, I liked another guy, and this was after we broke up and everything, but I think about him all the time. <laughs> and yeah, so, yeah, my life's been crazy and hectic, and... I've been super emotional, like, always sad, and it's really, like, gotten to me, so, I don't know, I hope this is gonna help me, like, just, blah. <laughs> um, um, yeah, now, I'm gonna just say some random names that people wanted me to say, because, yeah, I said I would do it. And first, I'm gonna go with, 
uh, Amy, my favorite Australian, we're gonna get matching tattoos. Like, I don't know what we're gonna get, but I think maybe like, I don't know. <laughs> we're gonna get matching tattoos, and she's gonna watch all the Harry Potter movies with me. And yeah, she's the best and awesome, and she makes fun of me when I say so. <laughs> And, um, yeah, I think that's all I have to say about her. She's freaking awesome and, like, the best person ever right next to my lesbian friend, Baranti, because she's pretty awesome, too. Um, and I'm sorry if I mess up your names, because I don't know. But, uh, Skylar Agin? Uh, he looks pretty awesome. I just met him. This kid, I don't know. He looks pretty cool. Uh, yeah, and then, I'm gonna mess this one up really bad. <laughs> Perla Romas Diaz, I think, I hope I said that right, well, she's really gorgeous, and, yeah, I, I don't know what else to say about her, but she's really gorgeous. And then, I have Hannah Phillips, she's pretty cool, like, I like all of her pictures, I think. I don't, <laughs> okay, that sounds really creepy because it sounds like a Facebook stalker, but I really don't, I'm not like that, I guess you could say. <laughs> I don't Facebook stalk you, I promise. Uh, yeah, but she seems pretty fun. I've, we should talk more, like, seriously. Talk more, I'll be happier. Uh, yeah. Oh, I got a tattoo, you guys! Like, yeah, I'll show you. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Yeah, I got, I got this new tattoo. And, um, it's for my mommy. And it's got her birth date and her death date and then her name and a ribbon. And the ribbon is to stand for breast cancer. And then the rose was just, uh, was on her, uh, gravestone. So, yeah. Um, I think that's all. I'm sorry I look really, really bad right now, and my camera sucks because it's my on my computer and not my school computer. That sounds so weird. But, yeah, um, I don't know. You guys should talk to me more, and, I don't know, tell me what else you would like me to do because I totally run out of ideas for, for doing this. That's why I don't do it very often. The only time I ever do it is when people think I'm fake. Um, yeah, I guess just talk to me and tell me what you want. Hey, I'm back and forth. Anyways, <laughs> uh, yeah, that's all. Peace, my bruh.